Rufus was ahead of his time in that for him, there was no reason women couldn't study philosophy. It is not men alone who possess eagerness and a natural inclination towards virtue, he wrote, but women also. Women are pleased no less than men by noble and just deeds and reject the opposite of such actions. Since that is so, why is it appropriate for men to seek out and examine how they might live, that is, to practice philosophy, but not women? This is something that we've seen in our own practical philosophy club. We usually have a 50-50 split between men and women, and the different energy that women bring to the table is so refreshing and valuable. One of the biggest mistakes, in my opinion, that the old Greeks made was to assume that women didn't have anything to add to philosophy and not allow them to study. We aren't the same by any means, but the benefits and outlook that the women bring to our philosophy circles are truly beautiful.